Well, look, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but there's a house right down the road from you that just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. Um, I, I'm not thinking about selling my house right now. Mm. I mean, I, I just moved in a couple of years back. Okay, cool. Well, look, man, is What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Ricky Carruth with another video to help you succeed in real estate. And you know, come to think of it, I'm the only free real estate coach who's still selling real estate. I'm out there every single week trying to bring you value and share all the tips and secrets that I know that got me to the top. So hit that subscribe button and show me some love. So today we're gonna to talk about what to say when a prospect tells you no or tells you that they're not interested because that's actually an opportunity to find out if the door is open for that lifelong relationship that I talk about in all my other videos. The clip from the beginning of this video is from a role playing session that I did with my coaching students. I do live coaching sessions right here on YouTube every other Friday. So last week we did a role play session. I role played with five different agents. We did completely different scenarios. We did circle prospecting, expires for sale by owners. And you can watch that. I'll put a link in the description to go back to that video if you haven't seen it. And it's also gonna be posted on my podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud if you guys wanna hear the entire session. So what do we say when a prospect tells us no? When a prospect tells us that they're not interested? When a prospect tells us to get lost? What do we say to turn that around and transition into what we really want or the direction we wanna go in, which is that lifelong relationship? You know guys, relationships are worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career, whereas most of you are going after the transaction. Your, your, your scripts and your dialogue and the way that you're talking to your prospects is transaction oriented. When I'm trying to flip that, I'm trying to turn the entire industry upside down by introducing my philosophy of relationships over transactions where all of our dialogue, all of our psychology is geared towards that relationship and how we can actually help our clients short and long term. And that may not be to buy or sell a property today. Most of my deals, let's just say 80% of my deals come from people that the first time I talked to them did not want to do a transaction, but I began and started to nurture and maintain this lifelong relationship that cultivated into my business that it is today where most of my business, 80% or so is from past clients, referrals, referrals of referrals, and prospects that came back to me that didn't want to do anything the first time I talked to them, but I created that relationship for the future, and now we're in the future. Now they're coming back to me. That's where all the money's at. All the money is in that 20 to 30% of people that you talk to that like you enough to do a deal. They're just not ready. Most agents are throwing those people away because they're not ready to do a deal, and I'm telling you that that's where the money's at. Only probably less than 1% of people that you talk to will do a deal with you the first time you talk to them. But 20 to 30% of people like you because your personality enough to do a deal, they're just not ready to do a deal yet. And so if you could capture, if you had the mindset, if you had the systems in place, and if you follow everything that I'm teaching in my program at zerodiamond.com, and you put all the pillars in place to capture the people who actually like you enough to do a deal that you connect with for the future, just think of how big your business is gonna be. This is how I got to 100 deals a year as a single agent. A lot of people ask me, how do I do 100 deals a year as a single agent? How do I maintain 50 to 60 active listings at all times as a single agent? And, and the truth of the matter is, is I understand efficiency. And, I can, and, and I'm playing the long game. And I understand the concept of accumulating clients and creating these really deep relationships with them, whereas there is no competition. These clients are not gonna use any other agent. They're coming to me and to me only. They're gonna refer me and me only. Um, so it, it creates a very solid, a very strong business that by the way, it can withstand any market. If the market turns down, sideways, up, doesn't matter what the market does, I'm gonna continue making sales. 
And even if I were brand new in the business and the market crashed today, I, with, with my mentality and the way that I want to, you know, create and maintain these relationships, I can make it through anything. And so for you new agents out there that are worried about the market crashing, trust me, the market crashing creates opportunity. And if you get out there and create relationships, then you're going to reap while all the other agents are getting out of the business. So what do we say when a prospect tells us no or they're not interested? As soon as they say no or you're not interested, my transition is, I got you. Well, look. Is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? You see how smart that transition is? Because what it does is it pre-qualifies that prospect to as, do they have a relationship with another agent in place or do they not? Because if they do, then that's cool. If their mom's an agent, if their brother, uncle, cousin, you know, a lot of agents talk to a prospect, have a really good conversation, and they think, man, this is my guy. I'm gonna do lots of deals with this prospect, but they don't realize the mom, their mom is an agent or something like that, and they're never gonna use you. Pre-qualify them from the beginning. Is the door open for this relationship? And if so, I would love to stay in touch, right? So the way I'm gonna play it is, is they say no, I'm gonna say, I got you. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell? No? Okay, well look, I'm sure at some point in the future, maybe a year, two, three, four, five years down the road, you're gonna to wanna to buy or sell something. I would love the opportunity, since you don't have an agent, to work with you when that day comes. Would it be all right if I just stayed in touch with you? Sure, Ricky, that's okay with me. Cool, what's your email address? So you see how I transition it, and then I establish myself as their agent in the future, and then I ask if it's okay if I stay in touch, and then after they say it's okay, and they commit to, let's stay in touch, then I ask for the email address. I don't come right out and ask for the email address. I make sure that it's okay to stay in touch, and then I ask. If I ask too early, a lot of times they're not gonna give it to me. If I ask to have their email address to give them a market report, a lot of times they're not gonna give it to me, but if I approach them in this manner, whereas, look, I just wanna stay in touch with you, is that okay? Cool, what's your email address? You're gonna get it eight times out of 10, nine times out of 10. You're gonna have a really good um, results out of doing it this way. So this is how I handle a prospect when they tell me no or they're not interested. To me, that's door open. If we connect, they're gonna like how I'm talking, they're gonna see that I'm professional, they're gonna see that I know what I'm doing and they're probably gonna to wanna to stay in touch with me, they're gonna to wanna to give me that email address because the way I laid out that phone script, how natural it sounds, how it sounds like I'm talking to a friend or a family member. And then I'm gonna turn right around and put them in that system I have in my coaching program, that weekly email every single week on the same day of the week forever. It shows consistency, professionalism, knowledge, power, that email is what's going to actually do the, all the heavy lifting of building that relationship for you t until the day that they decide that they want to buy or sell, then they're going to call you. And now you're building a business where people call you. And you don't have to worry about chasing so many people, although you're always going to be on the hunt. I still cold call, I'm still chasing, I'm still looking, where's my next deal, where's my next deal, where's my next deal? So never think you're gonna to get to a place where it's just automatic. That'll never happen, ever. So never get comfortable, always stay hungry. Um, if you guys have any questions, put a comment below if you have any questions, if there's a scenario you want me to answer, if there's a video you want me to do. Let me know what you think, click subscribe, hit the bell. We'll talk to you guys soon.